Oh, there she is. What? I've been I've been standing here looking and she's looking at me. That is just amazing. So if you happen to be walking right along here, she'd let you walk right by here and never reveal her presence because she's relying on the fact that she's difficult to see and she's in a hunting coil mm -hmm. and she's been waiting for a rodent. How much of a chance is that she would strike at us? If you startled her and stepped right next to her or on her, mm -hmm. but I've stepped within four inches of them inadvertently and they, they just... didn't rattle. Dave now has to try and get the snake into a bag. It's very thin, Dave. Yes, and you'll be able to see the snake through the bag, mm -hmm. so you'll know where her head is. She can bite through the bag. So, Sounds it, quite you know, as I tie her up, I'll, I'll be aware of that because, be, yeah. because my hands will be on the bag. To avoid stressing the snake, Dave carefully and skillfully scoops it up. If he tries to pin it behind the head, the snake will think it's being attacked and try to fight back. There she comes. Okay. Oh, beautiful. They rattle when they're defensive or frightened. That's when you're most likely to get bitten. That's the first time I ever heard that, apart from the cowboy films. Contrary to popular belief, rattlesnakes do not deliberately attack humans. There she goes. She'll settle down, and the dark will certainly help. And she won't bite through your backpack, will she? Well, it's Cordura, it's pretty tough. <laughs> I hope not. Dave's dry sense of humour leaves us feeling a little uncertain at times, but we know we're in safe hands. He's been handling snakes since he was a young boy, and we're glad of a demonstration in handling and anaesthetic technique before we start surgery to replace the transmitter on the snake we caught. This is the tube that we'll use, and, uh, and this gauze and cap just facilitate the anaesthesia, because this will be made into a chamber once the snake is in. So the tricky okay. bit is getting it into the tube. That's the yeah. trick. Right, OK. And this snake is going to be a challenge, because he's about as big as a blacktail rattlesnake gets. Oh, that's... Ooh, he is not happy. Oh. What we'll do here is, when I feel like he's far enough up in the tube, I'm going to reach down and grab his body and the tube. Oh. And, and he just barely fits in this tube. Right. He's physically just go up there himself. And so I don't want to release the tube or I'm going to be holding a, a free uh, striking snake. So, so you're going to make sure you firmly grab the tube and the snake at the same time. Exactly. OK. Having seen it once, it was now my turn to try my hand at the art of tubing. Although our female is smaller, her venom is just as potent. One error of judgment or the slightest loss of concentration could put us in hospital. Without treatment, bites can be fatal. Yeah, yeah. Firmly grasped. I think my um, my heart is beating a bit, but it's um, you can see the benefits of this because obviously uh, it's far less stressful to the snake, and it's my hand is nowhere near its head, which is also really nice. And I don't think it can turn back in there, can it, Dave? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Good.